Yo, Paul, Tyler, what's going on? How you guys doing? Uh, John McLaren here. I play Star-Lord in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the video game. I just want to say thank you guys for reaching out and saying hi. I know you had asked me to talk a little about my experience playing Star-Lord and my experience as a fellow streamer. But first, dudes, I got to say, I checked out your Twitch page and it is awesome. Look, hold on. I think I, yeah, I do. Check it out. These dudes. Yeah! That's my little streamer set up underneath the stairs of my condo like some weird Harry Potter shit. But, um, <laughs> dudes, your Twitch looks amazing. I'm a massive fan of the TMNT motif that you guys have going on. But we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, Star-Lord was, was incredible, guys. Honestly, it was, a, it was a dream come true. It was a lot of pressure in the beginning because well, you know, it's Marvel and, and there's obviously uh, MCU and comic book counterparts and it's it's such an iconic character to play. So I think myself uh, and the whole team, the rest of the Guardians, th there was a bit of pressure, but there was a lot of excitement and we were very fortunate enough to be told early on in the process that they did not want this to be the Guardians of the MCU. They did not want it to be the Guardians of the comic books, that they were kind of building from the ground up their own unique take on the Guardians. And so they kind Kind of just said have at it have fun with it make the characters your own and it was incredible man we cinematic director daryl purdy gave us such a great amount of flexibility to just try things and play and you know there's a lot of mistakes in there as star lord often does he, he's kind of fumbles around but you know we we made some mistakes but we found some some real not only comedic gold but the way that it was written there was some really beautiful tones and themes of family and grief and loss that we got to play with as well and, and i always have to shout out the narrative team at idos for creating such a wonderful beautiful script but yeah i was just it was super fortunate that the team was so welcoming the guardians themselves we immediately clicked as as friends we are still best friends to this day we were in a massive group chat we still all talk all the time and actually alex and kim who play rocket and gamora in the game they they literally live within a, a five ten minute drive of where i live which is pretty neat so we hang out all the time but it was such a wonderful experience and and if if you guys or, or any of your community on twitch have played the game i, ju I just wanted to say thank you it means the world to me and, and I, I put a lot of love and care into the character and I'm so grateful that you guys have played the game and I'm so grateful that, that it resonated so well with a lot of people. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Secondly, it's so florkin' rad, man, that you guys stream. You've been doing it for eight years. Saturday game school. I'll try to give you some advice. I mean, I haven't been doing it as long as you guys. I started just before Guardians and... You know, I started about six months before the game dropped and I wanted to do so so that I didn't go live on day one and completely blow up my stream. Although I can tell you that just over a year in, sometimes the stream still blows up and technology sucks sometimes. But <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I started early. I put in that time literally streaming to probably three people, four people, myself, one of the lead facial animators who I'm really good friends with from Guardians. Uh, uh, Simon is his name. He's one of my mods. He's been there since day one. So it was literally me, Simon. And at times, my iPad logged in to get that third viewer to try to get to uh, affiliate. But man, <laughs> but no, I mean, you mentioned uh, finding new ways to grow. And, and I, I too, am, I'm, I'm having that problem as well. You have like, I find you kind of going an upward trajectory and then it kind of plateaus a little bit. And I think from the things that I do, I think like putting clips out there of your streams, if you're clipping moments or if your community is clipping moments, I think it's uh, important to get those out there just to hit different platforms to, to help with your discoverability. So being on the Instagrams, being on Twitter, being on TikTok is a big one, I think. I use a program online. It's called Join Combo. Check that out. It's really good, fast, efficient way to throw together and edit vertical clips. So that really helps uh, save time because the editing part, as I'm sure you know, is a lot, a lot of time and effort and work, but it's worth it because you can reach new audiences on different platforms. And uh, cause otherwise, you know, not a lot of people sometimes don't either know about Twitch or use Twitch or know that they can just stop by at any any time. So 
yeah, just, just getting your stuff out there on the different platforms, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all the, all the things can really, really, uh, really help. And then using things like blurps. I don't know if you guys use blurps or not, but it's a way that people can use bits to trigger, trigger sounds and stuff like that on your stream, which uh, my community really, really loves. They have a great time with it. And one of the best parts of blurp, in my opinion, isn't even bit related, but with blurp, if you are a subscriber, every subscriber gets one walk on sound or music, if you will. So every time they pop into your stream, they can trigger their own personalized sound that they've picked out. And it's a, it's a lot of fun and people, people love it. It's a, it's a little bit of extra work on the back end to set up and, you know, manage, but uh, it's so worth it because we have a lot of fun with it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for reaching out. I, I'm not sure if that helps because Twitch is a beast and I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm learning new stuff all the time, but I love it. I love meeting uh, fellow streamers because it's such a blast and Twitch in and of itself is this really great community full of really, really incredible people. So uh, I just wanted to wish you, Paul, you, Tyler, and of course your entire community at Saturday Gaming School a very happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. And uh, as always, happy streaming, or as Starla would say, happy Florkin streaming, man. <laughs> Thank you, dudes. Happy holidays. Peace.